All right, hi, my name is Josh Felpern with Siemens. I'm going to be showing you our simple select tool. Uh, just came out a few months ago and it's a very nice tool that was developed to um, choose our valves and actuators very, very simply and quickly. So kind of going away from uh, a lot of folks like to use catalogs and you can still use that, but today I'm gonna show you the simple way to select our valves and actuators. Um, here, <coughs> first off, to get the link to download the Simple Select tool to your desktop will be found <coughs> at the Siemens.com forward slash USA website. You would then go under Building Technologies, click on Building Automation and Energy Management, and then click on Valves. And when you get to that part of the website, you'll see the list of our valves in the left and center part of the page. Here on the right side, you will see where it says Simple Select Selection Tool, Quick Links. Go ahead and click on that and then it will, you can click on the download button and it'll quickly download the Simple Select Tool to your desktop, as it says right here. Um, we've already got the Simple Select Tool downloaded to our website and this is what it looks like. Now, to start, there's a few different nice features. Today I'm gonna to cover you know, a couple of the nice features that this tool has. Um, but first off, a lot of customers that I've worked with before, it, it's very frustrating because Siemens has so many different part numbers. It's very difficult to find submittals and cut sheets, technical docs, installation instructions on our website. Now with the simple select tool, you can simply come here on the top right corner and type in, for example, uh, let's type in a 274 and we'll dash 03000. It, you'll see it automatically pops up here. You can click add to valve schedule and down here it'll show you everything you need to know about this valve assembly. Um, it shows that it's a globe valve, it shows you the size, the CV, the port configuration, the trim, the multiplier, your, or your cost from uh, your distributor. Um, it also gives you description of the valve assembly. But most importantly, when, what I've seen this tool use already for, and customers are really, really appreciating it, is quick, ac quick access to data sheets. Here you can click on the assembly data sheet, the PDF logo, and you'll see there's three different types of technical instructions for this specific assembly. You click on that, and it'll automatically take you to the technical instructions for here, for example, it shows you the uh, actuator that's used on this, uh, on this valve assembly. All right, ben, today we're gonna have Ben, um, who works here at Stromquist and Company's Atlanta branch. We're gonna help, have him help him select the valve. Uh, ben, today you got a call. Um, what GPM was the customer asking for? He said he had 100 GPM. Needed a valve with 100 GPM. All right, and so you can see how it quickly calculates your CV down to 44.72, though another good rule of thumb is GPM divided by two is gonna give you the ballpark CV, which would, be, would have been 50. So you can see how that um, quick tool might be able to come in useful. Um, all right, what uh, size valve did you say he was needing? Uh, one and a half inch. One and a half inch valve, okay. We'll go ahead and we'll see how it narrowed it down to 20 different valves. Um, what type of configuration was he looking? Was he looking two-way, uh, nor normally open or normally closed? Uh, two-way, normally closed. Okay. Took that list from 20 down to eight. Um, now, as far as trim goes, um, didn't you say it was a steam application? He, he, he was um, needing stainless steel? That is correct. Okay. Always use stainless steel trim on any uh, steam applications. Um, as far as connections go, now you can see we've narrowed this list down to about, looks like eight. Um, can, now the connections is where it can get a little bit tricky, but uh, what did the customer say he wanted a specific, you know, female to female connection or a, a female to union male connection? Female to female? Correct. All right, let's see. So that's gonna narrow it down to three. 
And uh, pressure class, I think we, we have to go with ANSI 250 since this is the globe valve and it's over an in, inch size. Um, <coughs> flow characteristic, did he say equal percentage or did he say linear flow? Um, I believe he said linear flow. Okay. Whoops, what did I click? All right, so we're going to get it narrowed down to two. Now, the two different ones you could select here, Ben, for your customer, um, the only difference is you got to go with the best cost for the customer. So um, basically, we would click on the 599-03025 valve body, and now we're going to select the actuator. So right here where it says click to go to the actuator parameters, you click there and actuator type, I remember you saying it was an electric. What was the control signal they were looking for? Zero to 10 volt. Zero to 10, okay. That's gonna narrow it down to four. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe we need spring return. And did they say the voltage was 24 or probably 24, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we've got a couple different options. Um, you could see the only main, the, now that we have to work with close off, did the customer by chance say what the close off requirement was for that valve assembly? He didn't, all right. Yeah, he didn't mention that. He didn't mention it, all right. So if he didn't mention it, we could go with the rack and pinion or we can go with um, this, this. Either one, we're probably gonna have to get with the customer. And the nice thing is with this tool is you can give them both options. So. We're just going to highlight this actuator and then this button right here, it says add selected assembly to schedule. We're going to add that to these, the schedule and then we're going to come and we're going to highlight the other actuator and we're going, to we're going to click add assembly to schedule. So now you're going to come back and you're going to give your customer two options um, and just depending on what setup he's used to using and what uh, he's used before will probably be the determining factor on which valve assembly he wants to go with. Um, so as you can see right here, we've added both part numbers. Um, for the sake of an example, the nice thing with this valve, with the simple select tool, is you can tag each valve. So for example, you could type in air handling unit one, boom. You could type in air handling two, boom. And so on. You could change your quantity to you know, 21 pieces here and it'll automatically um, put all the quantities on there. And then you can continue to tag air handling three, air handling four, and so on. And the nice thing is with Siemens is any valve tagging that you need done, we do it for free. There's no extra charge for uh, valve tagging. Um, so that's basically how you would select an assembly. One, <clears throat> One other feature that we do have is you can either create an, you can export this valve schedule that you've created for your customer to an Excel spreadsheet. You could also create a PDF. You can also customize it. So basically here, when you type in, we'll type in Ben Project, and then customer name, we'll put Stromquist and Company, and address is 4620, right? 4620. South Atlanta and Smyrna, Georgia zip code, anybody? 303, sorry, 80. All right, we'll get that. So basically you can save all that information. Now that information just customized your valve schedule and obviously you can do it for your own customer, but when you go to uh, do the PDF, You'll see how Stromquist and Company it goes right there, so it'll show what this quote's for. You could save this for future reference, to enter into your system, or wherever you might need to send it over to an engineer. And it's an, it's a very nice tool and very you know very easy user friendly. Um, now, last but not least, I'll just go over all these different columns. Um, some of these columns need to be used, some of them don't, um, depending on who you are and why you would use this uh, tool. So for example, say you really don't need, you don't need to tag anything, you could just uncheck that box and that column will go away. 
If you don't want to know the minimum GPM or maximum GPM or the preset or the port configuration, you can just 100% customize this to uh, your exact needs. Um, very, very nice, very ni nice tool. And I think as it becomes updated more and more, it's just going to become more efficient. Are there any questions? Um, well, I do see there's a difference in price. Um, why is that exactly? What's the difference in the actuators? Are you talking about the difference between these two actuators right here? Uh, correct. Okay. All right. Basically, it's a great question. Um, basically, there are two different there are two different options. The first option is a, a, a rack and pinion type linkage, and it's more cost effective option um, with a lower close off. Now, if you're looking for um, a little bit higher close off and a more high performance actuator to go on that glow valve, that's why the SKD uh, 62U actuator is going to be the list price about $600 more. Basically, it's uh, just a better, a better motor. Any other questions? Okay. Well, I really appreciate your time today here at Stromquist and Company. And uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me at joshua.felperin at siemens.com. Thank you for your time. Thank you. If you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you. With over $2 million of inventory between our Georgia and Florida locations, an easy-to-use online ordering platform, same-day shipping, and a factory-trained team of controls experts to answer your questions. Strong Pussy Company continues in its tradition of offering great service and great products.